Switch emulation on Android may have hit a wall recently due to the lawsuit from Nintendo, but I believe the emulation scene as a whole is just as strong as it's ever been. Mobox is a popular PC emulator for Android, so it allows you to play some of your favorite PC games directly on your Android smartphone or tablet, and today I'll be showing you how to install it. But first, we have a quick word from today's sponsor. PlayStoreSales.com is a website to find the latest Android app and game sales that are available. The website is updated every weekday, and it even has a section to find apps and games that have temporarily been discounted to free. These paid apps and games can only be registered to your account for free while this sale is going on. So check out www.playstoresales.com and get them all before the developer increases the price again. Now, let's get back to showing you how to install Mobox on your Android smartphone or tablet. To begin, we're going to need to install Termex as instructed here. And I'll have these links in the video description as well, but you can also find them directly linked in the Mobox GitHub page, which will be linked down there too. So we're going to download Termux and then we're going to install it. After the Termux APK has been installed, we're going to do the same for Termux X11. We're going to download it. Then we're going to open it. And install it. Lastly, you'll want to download the input bridge APK file as well. So we're going to download, open it up, and then install it like you would any other APK file that you have downloaded. Now that we have all three components installed, we can finally start to install Mobox. So we're going to find the Termux application and then we're gonna launch it. And then we need to execute the following command. So we can type out this long command if you want, or you can paste it just like I did. And then we're going to press enter to begin the installation process. Now, if you get that storage error scrolling like you just saw, you can try to grant storage permission from the app info page. However, that did not fix it for me, likely because I'm on Android 14. So to work around that, we open up a clean Termux session and type out this command, which again will be linked in the video description. We're gonna press enter on the keyboard and that should have changed the permission for that file. So now let's paste that main install command again and press enter. And now you can see that it is going through that process. Now we just wait and allow for Termux to install Mobox properly. We're going to be asked to select an option so we can install the previous Mobox with box 86 or we can install new Mobox 
with WoW 64. I'm going to select two in this video. So after installing wget, we're going to rerun that install command that we get from the GitHub page. You can see that it already has detected some parts of the previous installation. And it's just going to continue. So we're going to wait. And it's going to bring us to that same menu that we saw before. Except this time, now that we have wget installed, it should be able to complete that. So again, we're going to go with number two. And we can see that it is now going through. So again, we wait and allow the Mobox installation script to complete. Once you get to this part where it says to start Mobox by typing in Mobox, so we're going to type out Mobox and press enter and that's going to launch my box The amount of time this installation takes will depend on how fast your smartphone or tablet is. But we just want to wait and let it install everything without interrupting it. And you can see, now we have Mobox up and running on our Android device. Or if you remember, we can choose to install Wine through the Manage Packages menu. We can select a Wine container via option 4 of the main menu that you saw. And from the Wine Start menu, we have the ability to install Mesa Virgil turnip, wine mono, and gecko. So depending on what you need to emulate your favorite PC games. As you can see, Mobox can seem quite complex at first, but the more you spend time with it, the easier it is to get games installed and running. Root is not required, but if you do have an older device, then using the out of memory adjuster can help prevent Termux from being killed due to being low on RAM. You should be able to play DirectX 9 games using Mesa Virgil on most Android smartphones and tablets. But if you want the best performance, then you'll need a device with an Adreno 600 series GPU or even a higher end one like something between the Adreno 725 and the Adreno 740. That's because those have the best compatibility 
with Turnip and DXVK. Now we also have a Termux X11 preferences screen here. So we can take note of all of this, like display resolution being set to max, display resolution being set to 720p. And we can configure that how we want by opening the Termux X11 application. And as always, if you run into any issues or just have some questions about installing Mobox on Android, then please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below.